I came here because my bladder was torn so the doctors could cure my sickness. MSF sent a message to the chief of my village and he told me I could come here for treatment. 17-year-old Awa developed a vesicovaginal fistula two years ago during the birth of her first child. Known as VBF, it is a devastating childbearing injury that affects more than two million women around the world, mostly in Africa. If the delivery stops on a certain point, it may be because the head of the child is too big or the pelvis of the mother is too small or the uterus, the muscle is not contracting right. Uh, the head of the baby presses on one point in the vagina and if you have a pressure on one point there will become a necrosis. The uh, tissue dies and this is or this becomes then a fistula, a connection for example from the bladder to the vagina. That means the women are leaking for urine all the time, where they go, where they sit, where they stay. So it's smelling awfully and so they become often outcasts. Our's husband left her after she became ill. She says he couldn't tolerate her body odour. He moved to another village and took a new wife. Awa was forced to return home to live with her parents. Women who suffer from VVF are not just shunned by society. They may have other health issues as well, including kidney infections, skin ulcers and mental health problems. Fistulas are preventable, but most women in the Central African Republic don't have access to skilled birth attendants and they don't have the resources to pay for treatment at a hospital. For the past six years, German surgeon Dr. Volker has been holding fistula surgery camps across Africa, transforming women's lives. We found a way to integrate them in the MSF program as a so-called neglected disease because they have no lobby and they are not... They don't get money, there are no programs from other organizations just to help these women. So it's, uh, yeah, it, I'm very happy that MSF is doing now so much for these women and that we do a lot of camps. There is a special feeling here at the camp in Bagila. For many patients, it's the first time they can speak freely about their illness and share their stories and their feelings. I am very happy. MSF has given us mats, blankets, food and drugs and doctors to take care of us. It's nice to be among all the other women who suffer from the same disease. We talk about our lives and the stages of our illness. After surgery, Awa will spend three weeks in the camp recuperating. Dr Volker and his nurse will check on her and the other patients twice a day to monitor their progress. Awa is grateful for the treatment she's received and for the chance to live a normal life again. She's now looking forward to returning home, where she plans to find work as a farmer. If I had stayed in my village, I would never have gotten better. Since coming here, I've had surgery and soon I will recover my health and become a new woman.